guys is up shadow here and welcome back to another episode of space engineers i forgot to press recording for the first minute or so but... so i started building out the platform a little we made a container started to move a few things over um but nothing else really happened so right now what we are doing is essentially i'm right now i'm thinking about how we're going to do the refining essentially because i was thinking about doing a basic refinery and then going to the full refinery but i will now contemplating that we go to full refinery and full assembler immediately for the simple reason that we do have an a, a, basically a full refinery right here supporting us right so i think we could probably go full refinery immediately. Um, so I think that's what we're gonna do. Which means we just have to, you know, get the um, get the iron from here, toss it into our main ship, and we should be able to, at least I think, fairly easily get all the components that we need for a normal refinery. I would say. Oof, okay, that iron deposit is not that deep. Still, it should be more than enough for our purposes, I think. There we go, we just made some lights. We can start out with that. Um, we can start to build uh, the planning right here. So, let's just weld this part here. Um... So a refinery, probably easiest to just place it here, right? And I think the assembler, we're gonna place the assembler on the other side, here. Something like this, so we still have the options of putting on the, uh, you know, our uh, our modules later on. Also means we need a conveyor run in between here. Oh, yeah, of course we need some interior plates. There you go. So let's take these into our build planner. Let's see what we can do. I think I got everything out of there that we can. Okay, which means we have to get these things. Now, let's place them into our production here. Components added, excellent. Which means, uh, let's just get a little bit of iron. We'll, we'll do like, uh, you know things back and forth if we get a little bit of resources then so it doesn't get too boring and monotonous um, I'm probably also gonna um, start taking apart the ship or not taking apart actually just removing things that I don't need I actually already started with that also before I press the recording button um, I removed two timer blocks that were at the back because we definitely don't need those. They were like here, and over there-ish. Also, I just realized the air vent is right here. That's curious, isn't it? But I can see how that works. So yeah, okay. Um, what else do we not need? We generally speaking don't need the weaponry, I think. So we can, ooh. Max in those. Don't need the weaponry. So we'll take these down. That didn't even have ammo. Oh yeah, it had ammo. There it is. Cool. Bring that back. Very cool. Um decent ammo here. Okay. Let's see how far our production is at the moment. 
Hmm, almost a full load. Okay, cool. See how far we can get here. Done. Excellent. So yeah, that's our, like, trifecta of jobs at the moment. Um, which coincidentally involves all three tools of space engineers. So we're drilling for resources, we are um, salvaging parts of the ship, and we are welding our new base. And a nice, actually. It's the, the trifecta of, uh, of space engineers, I suppose. Here. Good old iron. And here. I suppose we can also try to get stuff from here, you know, from the salvaging. No? More? Um, let's see. I mean, the doors for now, we might want to take them out anyway, but this button panel is not useful for us, for sure. Um, what else? I mean, we don't need um, the second freaking control station back here is not needed, in my opinion. Um, what else? I'm gonna leave this here. This this bad boy will leave. Just hack it. There we go. Um, this one will leave because oh, because we could run automatic LCDs on it. So that's why we'll leave it. Um, the beacon. I don't think. Do we want a beacon? I think we want the beacon and not the antenna. Honestly, for for this thing, I would say. Because the antenna is a bit too much. A beacon is more than enough for our purposes. For a scout ship, that's good enough, right? So we'll take off that this antenna. Inventory. At least we'll try. Freaking radio com. Radio communication components are filling us up. We can technically put the antenna then on our station Inventory. here. You know? Oh. It's kind of funny how our reputation is still dropping. Even though this is scrap, you know, uh, it's kind of weird how that reputation system works in this game. You can really feel how it was not like one of the main focuses on the, of the game, right? Because it feels so clunky. Because why would I lose the reputation with the space pirates? They, uh, you know, they might not even know that this wreck exists anymore. So why do I always lose? Um, you know, reputation. There should be like a way to take over a whole thing, and that might be a reputation penalty for sure. But basically, what I should do is to grind down the entire thing and rebuild it, because now all the things that I hacked, if I start to grind them down again like this, I lose reputation again. Which is kind of silly, in my opinion, but yeah. Um, parachutes, we don't need a parachute, we're not gonna go into, uh, atmosphere, so there's space for another block here, that's nice. Um, we also don't need this laser antenna, I don't think. We'll just get rid of all of that. Get rid of it. Ah, at the, actually at the moment we're so close to the base, I don't think we need a hydrogen. So, there you go. Uh, let's see how much we've gotten here. That's a full load. Excellent. Yep. Okay. Back to the iron. We're getting a little, little bits of progress here, right? Yeah, that's... That iron is not as... You know, it's not as big as I hoped it would be. We might be out of iron on this asteroid fairly quickly, but it's it might still be enough. We don't know yet, but yeah. Okay, back to the ship. Well, let's actually see if we can do something with this. Ooh, lots of components we can take from here, apparently. Lovely. Ooh, look at that. Apparently we have taken stuff, but we cannot use it. What? The... Hmm. Okay. What else can we take? Oh yeah, this turret. Not needed. 
We might put turrets on later again if we really want to. But I, at the moment, we don't need. It. Right? Same goes for this rocket launcher. Don't need it at the moment. Rockets. Energy low. And let's refill. At the moment, the refill is a bit slow, but hey, there you go. It takes a while, but eventually we'll get a full medical room set up here as well. In a convenient place. Okay. Well, let's actually get some more before we go back. We also should um, not forget that we uh, need to upgrade our solar array as well as we get this new machinery online. Course, because otherwise it's not gonna go too well. And I kind of want to um, quickly get like a... Almost like a conveyor over here. So we can essentially just drill here and shove things into a container or a maybe even have a drill over here that directly feeds it into our system that would be nice uh yeah we have, have to go to the ship for now we have to go to the ship there you go give me all your stuff oh, thank you hey we're almost done just a few more motors that we need how oh, cool that there's actually a few more here boom that refinery is on land very nice um what else can we take away i mean the landing gears we'll need there's a connector here that's definitely useful as well there's one of the gyroscopes that's one of those that we have control of we have one more gyroscope that we don't control and i am not sure where it is honestly we have this one. I hacked this one already, so it's not this one. Oh, wait! Oh, I'm an idiot. There's two different ones. This one we have under control. Also, there's a button panel here. This weird LCD screen, we don't need those. But there's also... Ah, oh, I didn't even realize there's another gyroscope here that we don't control yet. So let's hack this one. Now we should control all of these. So apparently, there's one hydrogen engine that we don't control yet this one no hydrogen power general there's one there and i think there's one down here isn't there somewhere it should be visible somewhere i think we have to go down find it oh huh? pretty sure somewhere here this is the generator this is a conveyor where is the second hmm that's curious don't seem to be able to locate it at the very curious indeed i mean we'll have to strip away oh there it is it's white that's why i don't see it because i was looking for a black engine that's the reason there you go so it still says the um the thrusters that we have no control over these this was a remote control a sound block and more timer blocks apparently even though i grinded down the time they there might be more. I don't see them right now, but... What's that behind? No, that's... Oh, that's the hydrogen. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, these blocks, these are weird. I don't think we need those. We'll, we'll use normal blocks instead. Not these weird things. Let's put those in here. I have a good amount of, of resources already. I like it. 
check. Ooh, lots of stuff here. Get that assembler online. We indeed can. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, that means we can get all of these out of here, out of our you and okay. Uh, I think we'll have to give it like a complete, like from front to back, completely overhaul this thing, right? Because if we don't, we'll miss stuff and. I cannot fly around with a ship that impartially is still, like, under space pirate control. I mean, a lot of the stuff we can keep, for example, you know, the cockpit, I like it. The general shape we'll keep. But there's a lot of things that we have to change around. There's a lot of reconstruction that has to go on because, you know, obviously there's a lot of things fucked up and destroyed. But, uh, you know, it's... It's okay for now. Let's see. Assembler. Oh, it has still a lot of things that we can get. Let's get this back. And I think I might just add another row of solar panels, honestly. But I think first we'll we'll put down a seat um, on our base so we can monitor the power a bit better. We can clearly see... Assembler, should I make these with me? A the iron that I've left? Oh yeah, it is, but we don't really need all of it. Because we've got enough resources on here at the moment. Um, okay. So, let's go seat. Let's just have a seat. Uh, also, let's extend this platform bit let's extend it in this direction that's where the seat is gonna go it's gonna be this control seat successfully after all oh yeah we pretty much got one from the ship already. So right now we are not losing power, but if I just essentially just grab a bit of resources, I mean, let's just get a little bit of stone in here because we, you know, we need that, right? Let's just get a little bit of that and just toss it. Now the refinery is going, yes. Oh, it already went, I think. I think it's too quick for stone to matter. Too quick to refine. Okay, let's get a whole bunch of iron and let's see. Because I kind of have the feeling that it's not, you know, powerful enough to sustain a online refinery. And we're not even on the assembler yet, of course, but I think even the refinery at the moment is technically too much. Inventory full. We'll see, but I have the feeling that's uh, true for now, that the refinery alone is going to eat up a lot of power. Or maybe not, that's interesting. Oh yeah, I forgot, refineries in comparison to other to um, generators, I don't think they're, they take up that much energy. Let's get a bit of ice and see it in action. Uh, ice is somewhere around the back. Oh god. It's, it should make it like a separate separate freaking waypoint. There it is. Yeah, that's where we thought last time. Inventory. Ah good, we got everything. Excelente. Ooh, almost ran into the asteroid. Jesus. Hey, there it is. Okay, let's get this in. Let's see. Okay, it's still doing fine. So maybe at the moment, because we have full solar panel, we're full solar power, I should say. Pretty fine. Okay. Okay, fair enough. 
getting a little bit more stone in there so we have a like a base of materials you know with silicon and everything inventory full just getting a little bit more stone in there and another handful might even do a drill right here that's just you know mining stone might even do that inventory full that might probably be the easiest thing to do right now just set up a drill let it go down get a ton of stone okay cool so i think that means right now we should probably focus on this right this up and then getting some oxygen um collectors up there essentially two four five still need motors apparently uh let's make some motor stand Oop. let's make a hundred motors do not Heat can. Okay. Bunch of motors. Another withdraw too. Really? What are we lacking? What are we lacking? Not iron item i think it's nickel do we have some spare nickel right lying around in our bay in our main uh refinery here let's see nickel we do have some nickel we also have some silicon let's get the platinum the cobalt and the silicon The uranium for that matter let's just get that why not put that all in our oh can we not put that into our refine oh yeah no not the refinery obviously assembly and nickel there you go that's more like it uh, we might want to travel to one of the nickel asteroids and just get a, a load full of nickel. Easily do that. Okay, let's get the next batch in. So, short of motors, apparently. There. There we go. Now, obviously, we need this stuff here as well. I just want to have that solar panel complete, you know? Now we need construction components too. So we'll make 200 of those. Yeah! we working on this please okay we should be able to get the second one running all right let's finish off one arm first there complete row there The small tubes and more motors okay well this is gonna take a little bit tubes and more motors now oh, let's make a hundred whatever uh, in the meanwhile we can of course gather a little bit of resources again a little bit of stone to get nickel and such right now probably not the worst idea and it's fairly quick since we're next to the refinery, more or less. 
that. Inventory full. Yeah. Let's get one more load. We also get gravel, of course, which is a thing, thing to get at the moment, but there you go. Hey, we're still doing excellent. Yeah, small tubes are the bottleneck at the moment. We're working on it. Let's make more small tubes. We'll need them. A few more motors. Actually, probably get, get these going. Successfully withdrawn. Cool. Yeah, we're getting all of it completed now. That's a lovely... Add it to the build planner. Let's go. Yeah, that's gonna take a bit. Other cons construction components too. Uh, probably some more of those as well. Maybe. Oh, also interior plates. It seems. Uh, not computers. Interior plates. Disorder. Also construction components, definitely. Well, you know, it's humble beginnings again for us, of course. It will all take a little bit to get back to the level we're used to. But uh, I think we, we, we started a lot quicker on here than we did on our original space base. I don't, and I don't think it's because we had like better a better start thing you know like a better scenario so to speak we essentially came less prepared than we did in normal space because in normal space at least i took like a certain amount of base resources with me which i haven't right here it's kind of interesting i suppose so i didn't get the um we should have taken a few more resources from our base obviously but, you know, it's fine. Uh, are we running out? I think we still need more construction components, it seems. Get those. Don't worry, we'll get those. Okay. And we need also a few more motors. This line too. Another one fixed up. Let me get a few specks of iron. Ooh, dark over. Well, it makes kind of sense if you see where the sun is going down on which side of the asteroid. It's like the first place to get dark, really. Energy low. Yes, yes, suit energy, I know. Oh yeah, that's right, our uh, everything here will go uh, without energy very soon as well, because the sun is soon enough gonna go out of our sphere of influence here. But we just completed the, um, the structure of the solar panels, I'm fairly happy with this. So, I think for next time. If I should just focus on the scout ship for now. Because I have the feeling I could get that up and running fairly quickly. Because it doesn't need too much crazy components. It might just need some steel, um, you know, to fix up the hull. Then one ore detector and we're almost ready to go again. Technically. Obviously I have to fix up some of these bad boys. They need uh, metal grids and tubes. That's going to be probably the most heavyweight stuff that we'll uh, have to lug around so this is access denied so I'll just... oh, is there any cargo on here uh containers no there's no containers on here or is there and i just don't see them 
container. There's small, there's one cargo container in here that I haven't found yet. Oh, it's here. Let's see what's in here then. <laughs> Oxygen bottle, a hydrogen bottle. You know what? I'm gonna leave this on here because that's a good set of things to have. I'm probably even gonna put some ammunition in here, to be honest. That's like a good set, isn't it? Let's get... Let's get half of the ammo in there, right? It's probably a way too much, but there you go. There. Good set of survival tools right in here. And now, if we look at... Here we have one landing gear that's incomplete. One remote control, which I haven't found yet. Probably placed at a very strange position, most likely. Oh, there's another sense. Oh no, that's the that's the sound block. We don't need that. I mean, the remote control must be placed in a certain orientation. That is clear. Otherwise, uh, steering this thing is going to be not very fun. Hmm. But I don't see it. I'm not quite sure where they placed it. And of course, we cannot activate like display on hot as you would normally do if you uh, search for a component on your ship and you're not sure where it is we cannot activate that currently. but yeah again we're gonna strip away a lot of this ship next time you know stuff like that I don't it's kind of thing on my ship really. so there's gonna be a lot of stripping away of components and unnecessary things thought it might be in here but there's just a go um and then we're we're gonna start rebuilding this i would say from front to back i will probably start immediately here with a ore detector right at the front that's probably gonna be like number one. Ooh, I is this the remote control back here no that's a gravity generator but we need access to that as well I might even completely remove the gravity generator because it takes off a lot of energy that I feel is not necessary on a ship like this. Although we do have stairs and everything. We'll have to see. Maybe we'll just leave it. Let's just hack it for now so we have control over it. Go. And then we really just need to find that freaking remote control. Find out where it is. Then, uh, yeah, we'll make the ship ready again. And then we might just fly to a few of our already discovered asteroids, you know, to get some nickel, to get some pure silicon, um, some cobalt maybe, and then to a few of the unknown ones to hopefully get silver and gold. Right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time and uh, take care.